we are about to enter the Bader Treadmill Lab located at the University of Delaware, where graduate students study the gait of healthy, injured, and disabled individuals attempting to correct problematic conditions. Thank you. If you could start off just by giving an introduction to yourself um, and what you do in the lab. Basic overview. Okay, my name is Travis Pollan. I'm a first year master's student in the Biomes program, and I do research in Dr. Stephen Stanhope's Gate Lab. Um, it's part of the Bader Consortium. We do gate analysis on an instrumented treadmill um, with six motion capture cameras all around the room, and basically we're looking at uh, healthy gait and trying to characterize it in order to prescribe optimal orthotics and prosthetics. Awesome. What first interested you in science as a child? I guess I really developed my love for science in middle school, but also probably when I took my first physics course in high school. Okay. I remember um, whenever I would have homework, I would just race home and that would be the first thing that I would do would be to sit down and uh, take out my physics homework and nice. crank it out. So, um, yeah, physics in high school and then I majored in physics in college. Okay, so I'm assuming that was your favorite subject then. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so that led me to doing biomechanics. Okay, and... nice. Did you have any hobbies like as a kid or as an adolescent that kind of helped shape you or helped lead you to where you are now? Yeah, definitely. So. I was a swimmer in okay. high school and college, and um, I'm actually an amputee myself, so mm -hmm. I uh, was a Paralympic trialist. Um, but I started swimming in high school, and kind of as a hobby, I would always take books out of the library on exercise mm -hmm. and biomechanics, and basically anything I could get my hands on that was related to the human body. So that combined with physics is really biomechanics. Right. So once I found out about the program at the University of Delaware, I was like, wow, this is yeah. what I've been looking for. Man. That's awesome. Man. What did your parents do when you were younger, and has that helped you in any way kind of get to the lab, your major now, and where you are now? My dad's an accountant, and my mom is a um, nanny, so basically I knew that I wanted to do neither of those things. <laughs> um, I, my dad definitely has... I get my love of numbers from my dad, mm -hmm. but not in the kind of tax return way that, <laughs> that he deals with them. So okay. I knew I didn't want a, you know, a desk job like that. And I don't really like kids, so yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of taking the opposite approach, which is okay. you know, science as opposed to mm -hmm. business. What does a typical day look like for you when you come to the lab? Uh, well, right now we're, trying to, we just moved to this new STAR campus, so mm -hmm. we're still working out the kinks in the lab, trying to get it set up and um, all the data pristine before we bring subjects in. But um, once we're up and running, we'll probably do data collections about once a week, which um, amounts to somebody coming in and us markering them up with um, reflective markers all along their body and taking a ton of measurements and then having them walk on the treadmill. Okay. Um, and then, so we would do that, and then we would spend a few hours analyzing and processing the data. Um, that's, that's pretty much what we do. Cool. What do you hope to accomplish, or do you have any specific goal within the lab? Um, primarily, I'm going to conduct a research study for my master's thesis. Okay. Um, sort of continuing along the lines of what a previous grad student in our lab did um, and trying to expand it. Um, he was looking at the, the shape that the bottom of the foot makes during the stance phase of gait mm -hmm. and trying to characterize that for healthy people so that you can then prescribe prosthetics for transtibial okay. amputees. And uh, as far as, obviously you said your master's, but do you have any other plans that you hope to accomplish in the future? Maybe a PhD, maybe not. <laughs> probably not, right probably not right away.